Good evening. We are back in this mess. Somewhere in this mess. Modules. How is everyone doing tonight? Okay. Just pull my notes up from last time, seeing where we left off. We needed to work on integrated electronics. Okay, so those shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Set up a small little thing for that. Then we're going to work on some nuclear to expand our power because everything's a mess. And we are capped out again because our current nuclear setup is busted. Let's go see if we can get any more out of our current nuclear setup. Doesn't look like it. If we let another bit there, that should let everything move how it's supposed to. Yeah, that'll get a little bit more out. But that's at its limit. Hi, Dragon Gawain. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing tonight? What were you playing? Upscaled. Like, that's just the truth of the matter here. Like, I could do any of the methods. I could do bio if I want to. It's just going to need to be massively upscaled. Um, as it is, I am honestly concerned that this will not be enough space. It's never enough space. Well, thank you for the raid. I have, of course, playing C block. Welcome to my little nightmare of not enough space everywhere. We are a bit past 312 hours into this. We are working on module three and trying to get it stabilized with the rest of our production that needs module threes to function. Yeah, that one little shout out thing, it pulls a random clip. Oh, very nice. Are you getting close to finishing? Say, uh, another streamer recently, he finished about a month ago. He was 800 hours in. Yeah, this, uh, this map's only got one train. We're trying to not use trains at all. Everything's built in bots, and everything tries to do little self-loops where I could. Yeah, 
We have our old, uh, our core setup of different ores and metals, and then we have the base minerals, or base minerals. We have some newer designs that are down here that need modules to function fully. And the yellow sign. That's my problem too, is the circuits for the modules. And I'm stuck at a similar issue of, I need materials to make the circuits to make the modules. That needs modules to make the circuits. We have this nightmare of a setup that produces everything for modules, all four types. But its main problem is now black circuits. We finally got the blue circuits mostly under control. And it's got a nightmarish little setup of programming for any kind of overflow so that nothing backs up. Ah, so you're going the no robo port route. What else is running slow here? Integrated electronics, which is the other thing that we're trying to produce more of anyway. That's actually very impressive. I'm not making anywhere near that many. There we go. We're making probably 10 a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to swap to that one, the, the latest chain for C block, because of some of the craziness, and I, it would break, I think, too much of my base. I already keep finding little problems that broke here and there, and it just through my own fault of changing something around, and then wondering why nothing's working. We do have our bean blocks, and we are going to be getting a slightly better nuclear setup soon. Because the current one keeps running itself out of power, and we're at our limit. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, my, my current circuit setup is up here in this corner. And it is these belts speeding up. And we've got our little bit of basic circuits, green circuits, that extends on forever. Red circuits that extend on forever more. come down here for blue and then these little setups in between are the advanced processing units so it's mostly belt fed it's a little bit of bots bouncing around on some of it and every time something has been running out I've been expanding it playing whack-a-mole because I did not design this stuff at the right amount of scale. Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of mine, it's every little thing even has, for the most part, like charcoal gets built in. Initially, it was just this setup of each type of ore with the base ores getting built it in. And they hit their different processing amounts. And then we got our, our little bits going off everywhere. But then that, that ran out. And then everything that I've been working on needs modules. And I thought I was going to have a lot more, and I don't. But we have a bunch of these blueprints that we made that are now completely contained to make iron plates. It pulls in a little bit of copper ore and a little bit of iron ore for some of the catalysts. But everything here is completely looping aside from that. It's designed with these bottom sections are doing it with full modules. A full blue belt's worth of ore will come out the top. Or the catalyst for it. So once I get enough modules produced, everything will catch up. Yeah, this, this, this whole setup here is, it's a ton of little things, so if I, I need any one of these, I can just place it down. Catalysts are here in half amounts, because they're, that's the ratio for them. My nightmare of circuits that doesn't really work and doesn't scale well. But then we also have, like, all the wires and stuff. I did have a solder design in here, oh my god. Just wasted last night working on solder because I misplaced this. Oh. oh, this one was crazy. Yeah, this is way beyond what I needed anyway. So, why did I make this? I probably made this blueprint like 300 hours ago. Not 300, but like 200 hours ago. Hundred out? I don't know. Way too long ago when I forgot about it. <laughs> hey, if you need to go, need to lurk, do any kind of post uh, post stream thing that you got to do, go ahead. I'll be here for a while. Oh, I, I get that. It, this, as I was set showing here, we have this whole nightmare of a setup here. We get fed in the charcoal, but everything else was looping on it. It also outputs any excess sulfuric wastewater that goes elsewhere, gets reprocessed. But it is a completely closed loop that was tileable. set that up for each of the different types of ores. As we can see, this one's been going through some like partial upgrades that have destroyed its productivity. So it's it's not really working what it should anymore. We're, we're at least reusing the materials too fast than what it was designed for. Might be able to get a little more life if we upgrade these. I think the main.
main issue is going to be the slag is not going to have enough of that. But this whole setup still produces more than a non-moduled version of the newer designs that I have. Which for something like that is... This whole setup starting from up, up about here and going down. This unmoduled produces about the same amount as that up there. So as this gets modules, it moves better. Yeah, the, the copper pipes was just, it was an old design from an older C block run I did and I just never changed it or swapped it around and it hurt when I first placed it down and I didn't like the extra little bits of setup for trying to do the electrodes so they're used in some small places This whole design was originally... I think I still have the original. Oh, that was the, the first iteration, but... This was the original design. This was a three or a second it was designed for, and just upgrading all the buildings kind of got it some more speed. Yeah, you do need half as many electrolyzers with the electrodes. But at the time when I was designing stuff, it for the sake of my sanity, it was easier to just place this down and not have to figure out everything there. But that's that's my little problem that I've I've sunk myself into at this point. Give a full base look. I can't get rid of the blinking alert. None of these hides that. But that's where all the modules are needed. This is our mess. We got power in the west. The core of our base here. Our old bus that still kind of does our science. Uh. Some other little expansions that we've been doing up there. A bunch of our reworked ores are on the east and the south. Our modules are down here. Down in here we have some other older designs. And puffers. Everybody loves puffers. Yes, I actually have launched two satellites so far. If I open up the SpaceX here on the left, you can see two satellites launched. That's right here, slowly assembling. And we have rocket fuel is somewhere up over here. that one. We have a nice little setup for rocket fuel here. It's an entire mess of air filters and petrochem. Yeah, we are in effectively white science at this point, but our science reserve is large. Our production is kind of small.
Yep, I took a I took a big break from any kind of science progression for a bit, trying to rework some bits here. But like we start moving in here and we get the old spaghetti mess for my science designs. And it just gets worse the more down here we go. So this was the original green and red science setup I had. I've just been upgrading the buildings. And it's still my only source of them because I haven't needed that much science. But the labs are doing that because they were originally just the two here going up. And then I needed more. And that was the only spot that had free space. I still only have two of the newest ones. So only white science is done through these right now. But we do have little tiny stockpiles of science. I plan on reworking this once I, I get the modules producing a little more and I catch up on my uh, 4,000 backlog of modules. Yeah, that, that's the, the quick and dirty of everything that I have set up here. The other fun little design that I have is for the alien artifacts and gems. This whole little thing. With the Rainbow Road mess. Oh, that's... Yeah, we're running into power problems. We're going to have to fix that. I could place down a few more bean farms, but that's just getting silly at this point. These things are... not efficient enough. That's because this nuclear setup just was not working with my uranium production at the time, so I need to rework that, and then this will work better. So I think what I need to do right now is... Yeah, that's a decent amount that we're deficit. So I think I'm actually gonna set up some more bean farms first. Get the integrated circuit production properly dedicated instead of leeching off old designs. And then uranium. Because I I have it's what I set up already, I planned it out. It seems simpler. Just I have a whole little thing that I have designed that just produces the uranium or right into processing in power plants and repurposes. I get a little bit of extra plutonium and the catalysts out of it. Because the scale that I'm at, I think at this point, any kind of crazier power solution, just to get it going and started, it's, I'm gonna never need that much. I can fit one or two more of my bean setups up here. And call in the bots to make some more land.
my base? I'm not sure. It's just the scale that I was at, I did not scale everything when initially setting it up as large. A lot of mine has been like trickle production. So as I've been getting more dedicated modules for stuff, it's been increasing the power. Metal back and look like the last 50 hours we can see our electrolyzers have been kicking up the power gain and whenever I kick on a bunch of construction we jump up to somewhere between four and five And that one's set up. Once it gets its productions going, it'll keep looping. And tier three three modules. Uh, I wish I had some of those. Actually, the efficiency ones I have shut off on production right now. Because I'm trying to get the speed and production ones out to fix my base. The power efficiency can come later. Hey, Raid Runner, how you doing? Got all the seed blockers popping in. All of those spin up to show a little bit more what I have with my modules. I took the theory a little bit from Dosh's last video, but I was in the middle of working on it anyway, so he just kind of gave me that little extra to finally figure it out. At each tier of gem, so we get like the, the raw crystal splinters into the, the cut blue gems and such. I have a quick little dirty logic thing here. Little pause on the belt. Reads this chest. If there's over 400 in a specific chest, it stops it from splitting off and continuing up into the production. And then otherwise sends it off to get recycled. And 
That way, any one of these, if only one lane is actually demanding modules, the other two will back up and then just offload any excess they have. So nothing backs up on this part here, which it comes over to this mess. Grinds everything up, sends it up here to get voided. Otherwise, also keeps this line filled to keep the grinding wheels going. So, nice and simple little setup. We can even see it in action there. This was also designed with a lot more throughput, thinking that it, this was going to be running at full speed at the time, and it, it wasn't. Yeah, I've, I've tried to avoid actually destroying a, anything. The biggest problem that I have done recently is one of my my cold coolant lane up here it keeps backing up because I don't have enough processing because I have to expand the processing again and I was limited on space over here so every now and then I gotta take the the dirty line and flush it out completely which we're reaching that point again Otherwise, the whole thing backs up, and then all my metals stop. Or at least, these versions of the metals. Okay, so let's check our power again. Oh, no, okay. Still waiting on these to get themselves fully going. Let's go and deal with this quick integrated electronics issue. Yeah, that's a little overkill. Let's bump it down two belts. I want to make a smaller module design that I can just keep placing down a few of. Yeah, we'll keep it at the 15 a second. caring about that efficiency we just want to get a quick little thing because we're gonna have bots or a belt bring in the coils and such same with this we have it on a belt somewhere we can move it in oh that's actually one not used to stuff actually lining up properly. And we'll just belt in the plastic. The main thing is the sulfuric acid, which 
probably use bots to bring in the sulfur. that to get the oxygen in here. Yeah, that works out pretty well. And we're just going to void off everything else. Pop in the lab real quick to make this. that for those. We'll just have them meet up in one warehouse. Okay, so we need one, two, three. Plastics, we things in each. Why did I close that? But we can use the small ones. Like that. And we'll just actually probably have bots pulling the plastic. Keep everything buffered at about a thousand. Should keep everything running in case my bots ever get too busy. Takes care of those. Now we gotta make it fit.
I do use, so I swap between uh, stone pipes just because they're cheap. Brass, if I need something slightly longer, or then I just go to night and all if I need anything longer. Okay, so we got those. We have those. Those. I'm happy to be down a little more so it comes right out there. There we go. And it's about a hundred, so that is two of these guys. There we go. It's a mostly rectangular square design. Actually, if we were to power this, just get everything set up real quick. Oh, I forgot a, one of my big designs, I forgot one inserter to keep the second side of one lane on a belt filled with an item as well. And it led to an issue where the loop stopped working about 30 minutes into it working perfectly fine as stuff slowly built up in it. And it took me forever to find that as the cause. I also had some fun issues of, actually I can show you in here real quick. This whole setup here, when it's working full speed with modules, it pushes too much purified water. I had to put these little small storage tanks to give it a little bit more of a buffer increase. The purified water would back up which would actually cause the sulfuric waste to back up too much, and it became a lossy system instead of a, a slight gain. And the, the, the only fix I had to do was just put these little tanks in everywhere. It just gave it the pipes, that extra little buffer space to sort everything out. This is a perfect example of how something is set up. Uh, it's designed to just create a ton of this. If I was to put this over here as just a 
Way to have it use up material. See, these things would just constantly move forever. Same with these setups. And it's just designed for an entire blue belt worth to constantly come out of it. And some of it's lazily engineered. I, I have no actual count on how many filters I needed. I just have 400 in there. Yeah, this, this, this was a weird design. It took me a while to, to kind of get something that I like. Because I was trying to do a lot of symmetrical. Which I was only able to do with this. With the gosh darn it water mod. It provides other recipe versions of anything that has a liquid in it to swap the inputs and outputs where they are on a machine. That's why the uh, recipe icon has the, the two R's on it. It's one that reverses the front and the back sides. Because I tend to like trying to do something symmetrical and then you wind up with stuff that doesn't fit symmetrically. Or the, the biggest problem one that I had for that was my chrome and platinum. It started looking nice and then it just devolved into this giant mess. Yeah, the type out the name is but Yeah, this whole thing is designed that it'll keep sulfur going down this way. If the sulfur ever backs up, this whole thing will eventually stop working, and then the wastewater vents up over here. The entire green algae loop to the charcoal loops itself. Yeah, I, I use squeak through. Which doesn't work on everything. The uh, these groundwater bores, you get stopped dead in your tracks when you start using those everywhere. Yeah, this, this was like a, a two-week project getting all these set up. So back to this just to make sure it actually works. Need monosilicon, gold wire, coils, and... Plastic. That's nice. 
moving so fast you're glitching out the uh, collision. I'm only running six. Yeah, somewhere in this base there's a car. I think it is down by my lost and found box. There it is. We had the car for a while, but then we kept crashing into pipes everywhere, so we stopped. And then I just, I haven't swapped over to the Spidertron. That's just hanging out somewhere up over here. There he is. At some point I need to actually work on the grid. I just kept getting distracted with other stuff. Yeah, I think it was somewhere around here. Yeah, where the windmills are, this is where the base started. It has just become more and more of a mess of things. Okay, so let's actually see how this is doing. Oh, I forgot sulfur input. <laughs> That would be helpful. I have not seen video hundred legs. Does he just hit the end of the world? Ah, and we have ads. I missed that alert. I will take a look at that after the stream tonight. Yeah, nice little compact setup, and it works. I can plop a few of these down, and I'll have it. some circuits. Have all these in logistics, yep. Alright, you're heading off. Take care, dragon.
because it's just so dead. There's supposed to be more production to this right now. Slurry. It's a module issue because there's not enough speed on this line to keep the oxygen full. We've just been constantly running into that issue. Honestly, as a quick stopgap, and I'm going to have to write down a note for this to remember to remove it later. I can actually put one of these here without messing up the flow rate. As we were having issues with the flare stacks and overflow valves with this setup at full speed. Should keep it all going directly into here and not any of it getting burned. So if I start seeing anything slow, I'll do that and that should help it out a bit. Otherwise something broke with this again and I'm gonna have to go through it. Oh, this has finally hit a point where it all backed up. Amazing. Yeah, that's good. And we always have a little bit of these on call as needed. What I should do up here somewhere. It's always supplied, but if not, this will steal a few. And it'll keep everything a little busy, but that's a lot. Power, we're still doing okay. It's not even worth it for me to try and use accumulators in any way, because the power will just get consumed way too fast. And we got this set up to help with some of the use of those. I think I need to get requester chests to help fill it up, though. Where were those getting used and having problems? It's the black circuits were having problems with them, so that should be resolved now. Yep. We actually have a few hanging out in here. It's progress. are still horribly inefficient because they don't use modules. At least any useful 
tier of module. Old designs, I hate them. Here with the bots. We still need more black circuits. So, I think we're going to work on the uranium processing setup that I was working on here. Let's see if we can get our current one working a little bit more. I remember where it is. There it is. This is eventually going to work itself to nothing. stupid mess. Uh, I accidentally killed out that belt, which kind of broke it. And I'll keep looping for a little bit longer. Okay, so back in here. Go back to this mess. didn't have in here. We'll pull that up again. So we need to get this whole crazy little setup down here going. Themselves. Okay, so that's all that heading off where it needs to. Thank you. 
other way, we need to have head off of the geodes. So get some filters. Like that, and then we need to get blue geodes, yellow geodes, and cyan. are still tangible like moving around. some sulfuric acid going this way as well. Fires for that.
Okay, that takes care of that. Crystal slurry, charcoal, and slurry charcoal. They're both producing sulfuric, which I can try and work back into that. That. So we're going to have to have it go up this way to some other machines that aren't here yet.
we need to get this little charcoal set up. Get that set up over here. A nice, small, simple little setup. And that will constantly avoid off the brown algae. power in this just to start getting some of it online. That's the last of that drink. Give me one second. too slow I think. I don't think they got the numbers right for that. Could just put that in. Go from there. If it works a little faster, so be it. If it backs up, whatever. Algae farms are cheap. Set up this flurry. This part.
so those need this little pyramid that we have up here. This one always working, and I want this one to be kind of like a top up. That way, the crushed stone is constantly getting used up. Piece of the puzzle. Get some filters into that just so when we get to that point. That way everything sits ready and waiting. acid itself, which be this pipeline again. Almost feel like I should set that up now. Yeah, we're gonna come back over here, work on some stuff, and then we're gonna finish everything we need to fit down in here. Or, actually, we could do the ore crushes and crystallizes right here. So we can do the, that. our purified water piped in and now we need to get our crushed versions in it's going to be coming from ore crushers if i set them like that set up for this. Thankfully minimal modules.
one side of that. This one. Have it head up and wind up down there. Slices for these now. So that nice semi compact power. back to the electrolyzers after we get sulfuric acid going through. I think we also want to set up the nitric just to keep it how I have everything laid out here. Oh, I forgot I put that in. Be a tiny little trickle of extra stuff. Ah, uh, we'll just avoid it. Break any of our numbers. No, it's very minimal. Okay, so let's get this hydro plant liquefier set up. It's our nitric line here and our sulfuric waste line.
deleted that on accident. Oh, we got all the seed blockers on tonight. Cypher's on. Arky's on. Maybe everybody wants to do seed block tonight. New year, new seed block. Oh, that was a terrible. It's been looping itself. It doesn't go fast enough that it clogs itself up. So we have this set up so that the loop will keep its own little bit in fills from there for the other half that it needs. We're gonna have to put that into our sulfuric acid, which is also up here. two little bits of purified water that are just going to be in the main loop. Our sulfuric waste also needs to come out somewhere here. Okay, so we need a chemical plant for that. Which also needs purified water. Because our purified water thing is just one big old mess everywhere. But we can at least do that. This pipe up to this setup. So we gotta come in down through here. Okay, the fire for this. Oxygen we're going to be getting from down through here. Set that up eventually. 
Then let's get our sulfuric waste all set up. these two and might come down here I want everything going in there if it can't that's what that's for Okay, so that's everything over there. Now we're down to these last little bits down here. So I think we'll do the purified water line. Set that up over here. And then we'll get the electrolyzer set up and run oxygen up into this. And we should actually watch it all kick on at that point. Power a little bit. So that gets those all linked. Now we need five. Yeah, five. Right, but there was a way to keep it nice. That's gone now. Flag right into there.
Okay, so we need night noise. Power. Get that right there, and then we need to avoid off the hydrogen completely and overflow the oxygen. should keep everything doing its thing. I just need purified water to finish off the loops. Now we just let it do its thing. That's the first part of this done. Make sure it actually gets to this point of working. Now it's going to be slow, but we're working at the speed of this centrifuge. modules, make sure I do those right. That's all working. It's doing its thing. Those are useful to make everything work.
map came out good enough that there's enough production in here. I might have to put like a chest buffer in this. It'd be a little weird. But it is what it is. We got that actually running. Just if it keeps running. And we still got some stuff to design, so we'll run into that problem eventually. we continue the next part of this I am going to take a quick five minutes or so break during that time I'm going to run ads that way nobody misses anything so we will be right back
And we are back. And we're still an ad, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of planning. Now we're up to setting up this part. Okay, so we're going to act as like a filler to the loop. So we need to have this stuff split up and go into these machines as low priority. So we're going to design this and then add that. Centrifuge threes. Just two of them. We're not doing thorium or deuterium fuel yet. It's nice and simple. They're going to take up the used cells. And they're going to make a mess of everything that comes out after. Let's see, now we got to sort this all out. That's the proper way, and then we can use the side here as a little bit of output as well. The stuff that needs to go back this way is going to be the empty nuclear 238, 235. So four things have to come back this way. Set up. Just need filter inserters instead. Something with using the belt twice here. So we can use that for. Now we can't do it like that. Just do two belts. So we'll have this be are empty, are used, uranium, no, the empties, right? Yeah. And this is, now we're gonna get the 238. Our two thirty five plutonium two 
plutonium and our fusion catalyst. Actually, what we can do is we can have this one be the other side of each belt. Nothing clogs up. And when we combine all these, they'll be nice for over here. That, that'll combine one to one. Honestly, these two we can put right next to each other. They're each going to be pulling in uh, three items. We'll be able to get this set up nice. Shift it to fit into this. going to go a little bit different. We're going to have it be an output priority to the right. But once that fills up on this, we're going to have it output to storage. And then this one is only output. So we can just set that up right away here. Start with a giant old warehouse. Actually, just set these up and we'll connect things as we need to. That's going to be uranium. This is going to be plutonium fuel cells. So we got those two set up. These we wanted to combine and then we're going to add in some extra from here. This only has to go to this one. If I was to do something like that.
from that, we have the input priority on that side. Now we have a point of connection. Set up the same kind of thing here. There's three of our things, and then we have the two up here. There are four different things that have to come out over here. We have these being top-ups as they need to, though I should also have a little bit of overflow for each of these, just in case there's an issue. So I'm expecting there to be a little bit of a discrepancy between one of these. Uh, most likely we're going to have a little too much 238. Let's put a little bit of a silo in here. Oh, that'll actually get this partially started. While we figure out the rest of this mess. So why'd you break? Not enough nitric because I messed this whole thing up. Nice! This giant mess I made. What did I do? Oh, these aren't filters, that's why. I don't know. Can't even remember what I set up from 20 minutes ago. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. That should fix that. So now we need to get these lines hooked in. So we got two at the bottom and then these two are both. I could put it like here, couldn't I? This, that will give them each their own storage or fuel cells. I actually want to build that right up. I don't want to use bots to transform around. here real quick. So this only has to go to that. Something like that. I wonder I might actually need something to help this out. Getting started, that should be fine. Also, an issue of purified water. That hasn't done anything yet, which is good. Need a little bit more production speed here, which I don't mind putting in. Apparently this is not doing much for all the overall amount that we needed. Numbers are so busted. That should be a little better. Well, 
let this continually do its thing and finish up the rest of this design and then we need to get the actual power generation set up. weird slow setup to initially get going. I want to actually return here real quick. We've got the tool belt basically got enough white signs to get that done. Let's queue up some more stuff. Not that I'm going to get some, but get the research done now the way. and simple little researches. So we want to try and finish everything with the last little infinite. Let's see how our circuits are doing. Blue is actually going well. Of blue circuits. Our black circuits are going as fast as they normally would. I have to actually get some more. That'll slowly fill up a bunch of stuff that those are being worked on with. Almost got our next rocket ready. Probably get that done tonight. We have to move the silo after we fire off the rocket. We store more stuff. I keep forgetting that because I want to get the rest of the bot mall building here if I needed to. I'll just shoot it up into this little spot here. This is going fine. Now we got a ton of these. Our trade ran out of fuel. where these are needed in here. Are you held up on? Why are you not working? Oh, uh, we're heading this far back into something not working, right? Insulated wires. Right. We have killed out our entire insulated wire. We need to make a new one. The thing that we were piggybacking that from, from ages ago, which was our old module design. Apparently that can't keep up anymore. I got two here that I can place in. 
guess they didn't get pulled out of my inventory. Let's get the productivity modules going more. That's why everything stopped because one of the core pieces broke. Now we make a note. We're gonna have to make a entire new little setup for that. That'll be our next project. Let's finish this uranium because I bet my power is complete mess again. Uh -oh. The base actually calmed down a bit, which, yeah, because this isn't moving crazy. Uh -oh. Can we get those Beacon 3s under 500, uh, under 600 one day? Somewhere up here. All right, back to uranium. Set up good. Honestly, we're going to go and combine this. Need them do something like that. Figure out where those are going after. So we have those, and then we have our return here. Something wood, just a few. Get these in just to test. Like 200. Power into this finally. Look at that, we actually have one. Now 
need to make a bunch of nuclear blocks, which most of it is very similar. Let's see here, we are doing it's going to be in total eight for uh, two by twos, and then an extra reactor each. It's just kind of overflow for all the materials. These will ensure that everything actually is used up, recycles, keeps the loop going. This is probably going to take a while to actually get itself started going. But thankfully, we've got time on our hands with that. Alright, so they all mimic the same. And apparently the plutonium fuel cells versus uranium, the only difference is the processing speed. So the plutonium cell goes longer, but still outputs the same amount. Effectively using the same reactor type, just a longer burning fuel. It doesn't burn hotter. So we can go and make this design and then copy it eight times. Okay, so. Need heat exchanger fours, turbine threes. And some uranium reactors. Oh, and you know, type of heat pipe really doesn't matter at that point at this point. We can use the top tier ones. So this is only gonna output that much. We'll see which one. Just add a bunch and we'll experiment a little bit here. Well, this is the, what made the most sense for how much is coming from those. To get fuel in, fuel out on all of these. I might just do bots at this point, looking at it. Might be easier to have bots insert and pull on the sides. This is going so busted. No reason, just hates doing what it's supposed to. Really makes me think that I should work this in here. Flows, stops. I'd have to move everything here, and I really don't want to do that to have like a priority belt. Could I fit it in here? Be able to actually fit it in here. Move that. I couldn't 
get a priority built somewhere properly. It'll be fine. Make sure I got my numbers right. Yep, four. More than enough water. Go over some stuff here. This output is 120. Let's consume 60. It's going to be a 2 to 1 for each of these. I really hope I didn't set something up here. It doesn't look like I did. I set this up to an ore facility five. That would do. Oh, it does nothing because it's just crashing to get this anti slot. That's why we left it there. It, just, it doesn't seem like it's working. Stone's getting consumed. Just a lack of slag. Do we need a little bit more here? I can fit more here. That's not a problem. Let's double this up just as a test.
Yeah, just that's the issue. We can force fix some of the math on this. We want this to constantly be moving. Oh, is that my problem? I messed up this. Well, yep. I messed that up. This is just supposed to be a regular centrifuge, not a three. That's why the math is not working right. Seems a little counterintuitive to be that low. But it made sense with the math. Somewhere in everything, it made sense because the speed that it's going at. Plays nice into all this stuff. In theory. Which we'll see as these actually get created. That should make a little more sense of this constantly moving now. Instead of it sitting and waiting. And to all the lurkers out there, I do say hello. You don't have to say hi back. I get to lurk sometimes. Sometimes you just want to listen to a stream. Try to have some nice music for everybody. I try not to ramble on too much, but sometimes it happens. Okay, so back to this mess. Messed up if it's multiple like that. Maybe should be fine. We'll see. That should keep the loop of fuel going. So what are we looking at here? We are looking at 36 split into four sections. sets of nine. Each one of those will get its own offshore pump. Or we can make it where every heat exchanger gets two water bores. That makes sense here. 
Yeah, it does. 120. Well, we might do that just for the sake of being able to place this down without having to make a bunch of holes. there with that. And we just finished all the researches. May as well just finish all these up. They're going to take a while, they're going to eat up a bunch of resources, but get them out of the way, and then we're just focusing on our infinite techs and final techs. These are going to take a while to research anyway. And we're gonna have to work on all the FTLs. I can do that. After this, we'll go back to working on this. Okay, so back into this mess. That did not take up too much space in theory. Do this in sets two two lines above this. We can do this in. So I think we'll do just normal heat pipe one. Shouldn't actually hit the get up any higher. So, copy this. Nine. We get this nice little setup here. Of course, it's not going to line up perfectly. So can. Or I can even set them up like this. Have this silly little looking setup. Okay, it's power everywhere. Now we 
Let's just kick start it. So then I can just copy this little design a bunch. I am going to actually change this to being built, I think, once we get this a little more set up. But we want to test out the one right now. So we need to kickstart power. Star power. To actually progressing all the way through should could this be done more efficiently probably do I want to just get this doing what it should be yes be some power soon. Should I have tested this on my own at some point? Probably. But we'll figure it out. Right? It's like we figure everything out. that matter so over Uh, okay, 
Let's start to kick on. And we're gonna have ad start soon. But there should be enough heat in this to keep this going for a bit just to keep the film alive. Not really worried about setting up any kind of battery to store it. Actually set up bots to bring it back, so we'll just bring it back on our own. Yeah, that's gonna need that many to actually do its thing. Let all the heat in these. And we actually don't want them. Well, they're acting as a nice little thermal battery. We don't need a thermal battery like that. This should, in theory, act like this thing is actually going as fast as it should. I wonder if I actually change this to... This extra bit that we put down here, this seems to all kind of be able to keep up. Let it just do its thing. Definitely going to need this here. What is it? This brings back six. And this needs 19, so. Kinda, not really. But as he's getting. Well, that's six per 10 of them. So this is 19 per 10. Math. Like math. Okay, and this one should be finishing up shortly here. I was to flip these. Get everything consistent. Too. Need the pipes there anyway. Maybe two less heat pipes. That would be less overall heat loss in the heat transfer time. I have no idea how this is actually working like it does on paper. So I don't think it's actually going to work how it does on paper. Yeah, let's 
Let's fix this. So that's a little better. All this in the name of saving a few little bits here and there. But that should work well. Let's get the rest of this piping here actually set up instead. Got some plutonium shell cells. Yep, there's the ten of them. I kind of like upgrade them each time. That's why. How many did I need to set it up again? So we have this, this is going to be for the uranium cells. I'm just going to place one over there, and then we're going to place this one somewhere right here.
you can actually have it split off to one more tinier little setup. That's our uranium doing its thing. Yeah, that's now not working. Stuff that it's actually running how fast it should if we shut that off. This should constantly be running. Because this is doing its thing right. And we're going to set up our tiny little pity messed up broken reactor here. This reactor only really needs one setup like this. One setup like that, and everything's within weeks. Set up a bunch more of these. Set this up here. Configuration. that need to match up and these two that need to match up. And we'll have to go through this whole mess together. spot.
back. That was also finding right here. Another one. All right, that should work. that we needed that. Still want to set up a little bit here. So we need one reactor. that uh, thing and slightly messy, but it does what it needs to. Okay, so what we need for this last extra little multiple gun. And yeah, we can just put two on it. Those three are connecting to this one. I almost feel like I should just put an entire setup here, cause, but at the same time, it's barely going to get anything into it. So we can also make sure that we have enough for priority to go into this one first. And once everything is full, the, the tiny little extra one gets done, just for the sake of using up that little bit of fuel. So, cleaned up those ends, everything here should be good.
need to match up onto this on the return. Fills up each one as as it goes on. Now let it all split. It'll be fine like that. I'm concerned if this is actually building back itself up. Is this stuff completely waiting? Hit a full stop point. We do. That's what I'm kind of concerned about. I wonder if I could put a little chest in between these just to stockpile up. No, it wouldn't do anything. Okay. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. I was to help this along a little bit. Let's say we put a little more of this in so that's actually kind of processed it all. Just to get through the test and it's a little better. Mess. Like if we were to do that. Start to get a few more of those. So all these are connecting with power. You need a little bit of power to kick it over. Everything's going to go a little slow, but once it actually places something in, we'll be fine. Same with this. That way first. That way this is only picking up extras. I'll make sure that we get the rocket ready. Nice. Make sure we have some extra left over here. We do. We're just not going to touch any of this. Just let it do its thing. Let it sit here. And we can reuse the resources that are here. Okay, so we want to get our third rocket launched, but we also want to stop that right now. And we want to get ourselves up a little bit here. So many items, so many icons. For rocket control units, do I see them on me? No. No, not on me. Satellite, we launch.
how we can move this. there, but it will eventually pull it all back up to here. The rocket silo will go here. It has not gotten lost in the logistics network. There it is. Let's see. That's all doing its thing. Eventually that'll run out. What do we want to work on next? We have a thousand. One point two. Stretch is a little further than it actually sounds like as well. So we can get these. And that we get the two techs that we need up buildings and stuff. Not really going to get any of these other ones. We'll just queue them up as well. So once we run out of red signs from this, we'll let everything else kind of go after that. Cancel this again. We are getting somewhere with all this. Where that somewhere is, I don't know. I really don't know. If somebody else does, please let me know. Please. We had a bunch of these, but they probably went off to other requests from the shift as well. Do have a few of these. I could put them on here just to make the stretch a little more resource wise. Go and get these for the these are actually going where they need it. Is somewhere down here. I'm gonna stand here and let these let it figure out. Look at that, we actually have here because the insulated wires. I should go see if that's actually producing and why it stopped. That was somewhere way over east. Probably because I started shutting down parts of it and broke things. Here, it's this thing. Outdated productivity modules. Waiting on whatever this one is. Let's see if we can boost a little production. So these we just need to get moving faster, so we 
upgrade the advanced chemical plants. One upgrade. Having problems with this coming in. It's hydrochloric acid. Really want to reuse this part down there. Do that, let's let it flow back. Why does that stop it's the loop here? It's also getting created down here from acid gas. Probably not making enough. Yes, yes. Why is that? Because everything's busted. Why is everything busted? Because there's no line. Why is there no line? Something happened to the fuel down here. So this line that I No, 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 no. I, I caused my own downfall. What happened here? How do we fix this? We need... Just getting rid of the giant charcoal line that I had. Fitting this in, so I cut it out. I run this down there, I should be able to fix the problem. And that should fix our issue. <laughs> Be able to upgrade some of these buildings just to go a little faster. See how it goes. What I could do right around here. Turn it. Charcoal pellets get a little more bang for a buck. Slight, slight little bit more efficiency. Mess going faster. Keeps this running, we keep everything else running. Great all the people as well. 
Steam crackers have upgrade. Steam crackers can be upgraded. And keep our supply strong. Uh, kind of upgrade this in a sense. I don't want to do the same here. Oh, that's not messing. one of the larger S-Riders. Do that at least. For more storage just in case. No, I think we use it somewhere else. Hang out here like this while that happens. We'll see how our production is doing now. I was not waiting on that. Back to this mess. We never fully set this up. We need to. It has to come back up on this. There's actually some power going everywhere. It's just getting everything filled. But now that uh, it's kind of, we can boost it a little bit. We can actually get some power coming out of this. Now we're stuck because we overfilled that. Oops. 
that's technically something that shouldn't happen anyway. I can always take something like this and put it into like a Cobra X loop just to get some extra as well if I ever run into a problem. Theory, this should be fine with a little bit of a kickstart from what I have left. Do I want to change any of the placement of this stuff, or does it seem good enough? The thing is just silly. I should have a full power set up for an entire reactor, but it's probably not going to run constantly, so it's weird. I could put some storage on it, I guess, just to build up the steam. It's not even gonna map. It's never gonna use up my old. Like if I could put a heat battery I would. Put a bunch of heat pipes around. I wish I could actually test it out. Eh, if we run into some weird thing, we can always just copy a line from this and slap it down. Alright, so now we need to copy this whole giant mess somehow without copying all the extra little junk around it. Make sure we're copying everything and fixing it later. on its own. That out of the way. Actually connect these together. Oh, that's also part of the problem. problem. It's in our test here. Right. And we are stuck actually waiting on the center loop, so don't need this extra little bit. So let's clean that up. Let's go find some room for this. That is going to be a problem. Some of these guys here, too. What? 
That's not that big comparatively to a bunch of stuff that I've built recently. But we can try and place it right here. Keep it with all the power stuff. Head up there, try to clear it out. I get stuck on every little thing in the way. Radar. There's nothing over here. Boom, boom, boom. That should be good enough for right now.
right there. Wait for this to build, and then we're gonna go and place everything down right now and start expanding out around it. Come on, dude, so we'll place the box like over here. So many bots. Many busted bots, slow bots. actually hooked up. Once we can get a little more of this placed, we are going to probably go right into somebody and call it for the night. Keeping all the bots busy, putting ourselves out of power. Yep, we are having every little bit of problems that we can with power. But it is what it is. So many probably don't have the breeze even that up. Oh, 
go check. Set those up in the bottom. Yep. Uh, twos. Yep, so we got to set those up. Go. That's the entire print. Yeah, I do, and they're just slow. Our entire base is slow right now. At least make sure that this is doing what it needs to.
least if it doesn't work, all the materials, we can tear it down. Readjust it. It'll be fine. See, these things have been done down here for this doll to start doing this thing. Okay, that's doing its thing. I forget about that. Is that why this has been going slow? I forgot to deal with the sulfur from this. Okay, let's completely rework this real quick. Dumb. Good. So back down here we go. Alright, we are going to run into a problem because we don't have the modules on this one. 
I might have to somehow get an extra little bit of geodes over here, just to get some more crystal slurry. Uh, it'll be fine. Be able to go grab a few of them real quick. Still wires. It's probably still wires, isn't it? It's wired still. Hmm. Hmm. Can do that. And that. I can make sure that we grab a few of these that actually produce up here. I use in this twenty seven. Yeah, see how many I can grab right now from this before it stops. While that's happening, let's go take a look at who is live and who we can read. We are going to go pop over to Nancy. They are live. They are playing Factorio. They are not playing C Block. But they are good people. here is just picking up the last few of these, running them up to that nuclear thing, and leaving it there. So, I'm going to keep this nice and simple. It's going to be nice when we pop over. No rate messages. And on that note, take care, and possibly see you tomorrow.